Peace to Rich Homie Kwan. Rest in paradise. You will be truly, truly missed. My deepest condolences to you, your family, and your children. So we're going to go ahead and dive right into this video. The internet went in a frenzy when Erica Banks posted intimate moments with her and Rich Homie Kwan. Then another young lady came forth and posted videos of Rich Homie Kwan in the same exact light. Now, it looks like he was a very affectionate person, you know, in tune with his emotional side. And what girl doesn't like that, right? You know, a lot of people in the comments like, take that down. You're being rude. You're being very disrespectful. Have some class. What you all fail to realize is a lot of women don't think how the average woman think. And what I mean by average is like, nah, I ain't gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? He had people's, you know, we did what we did, but we gonna go ahead and keep that right there. Some women are not respecting you if you're not married, let alone if you engaged. A girlfriend, a baby mama, some women do not respect that. It's like, you know, if he with you all that time and you, you know, his child's mom, he should have married you. Not everybody is on that. Oh, that's his baby mama or whatever the case may be. My friend was like, but Tiffany, you wouldn't have never did nothing like that. And you're right. You're right. You're exactly right. And the reason why I wouldn't did that is a little bit deeper for me. I'm not going to paint a person in a different light than what their kids see them. So, you know, let's just say I'm dating somebody and he passed on. Nobody knows anything about me and it's going to stay like that. And whatever we shared is going to be sacred like that as such, you know, because it's going to show the respect I have for him. And I know maybe how the guy love on his children. Forget the relationship. So now that child has to look at her father as, as in a different light that my dad was doing this to my mom. See, it's a little bit deeper than rap for me, you know, but I can't speak for them and why they did this. But I will tell you this. People post according to how people make them feel. Women move according to how a man make them feel. You know, I don't know, but I will say, say this. When death hits, it brings out a different emotion. It just does. When death hits, it brings out a different emotion. You know, I mean, let me know what you all think. Do you all think they should have just kept that in the iCard? Lock it up. Um, do you think like they, they was in their right? Do you think they know more about the situation of him actually being in a relationship? My thing is this. I don't care what a dude tell you. When he in the house and with, with a woman... I don't care what he tell you. Now, here's another thing I want to share to like that y'all probably didn't think about. Erica posted that before she heard the 911 call. Do you all think she would have still posted the videos with her and Rich Homie Kwan? Has she known that they was going to put that out there like nothing is private anymore? Not even the videos that's in a girl phone. Nobody don't even have to hack your phone. You all go put all the information out there. You all don't hold nothing as a keepsake. Nothing as just, you know, me and that person. And it's like, it's so crazy. Like, you know, you know, I'm in, I'm in the media world. And every time I pull out my phone, it's a perception. Like I'm going to record something and post it. The stuff that's in my phone, I would never post. You know, I still believe in memories and creating memories and stuff like that. And, you know but rest in peace what do you all think what do you all think do you all think she should have posted those videos her and other girl and do you think that everybody should take them down right now after hearing the 911 call until next time i'm tiffany nash you're just having a little talk with tiffany